afraid of this guy? Um, I, I personally, um, I don't feel comfortable at my house anymore. This burglary victim, who News 13 is not identifying at his request, says he came home to a nightmare last month. It looked like my door had been kicked in and my house was wrong. Surveillance video shows this man taking several trips in and out of the house, stealing two laptops and a rifle. A day after News 13 first showed you that video, Eric Pacheco turned himself in. According to a criminal complaint, the 20-year-old admitted to the break-in. That's why the victim was surprised when he says someone in the DA's office told him a plea deal was in the works. Don't think that it's appropriate. They're, they're trying to make a plea with someone who's, who's wanted for another burglary. Four days before Pacheco turned himself in, police say he was here, a little more than a mile away, breaking into someone's shed. According to that criminal complaint, Pacheco left a bank slip with his name behind and a witness identified him. There's now a warrant out for Pacheco's arrest. Meanwhile, the other victim believes Pacheco is trying to send him a message. I've also um, seen the vehicle driving down um, San Clemente on different occasions within the last two weeks. A judge has granted that victim a temporary restraining order against Pacheco. As for the potential plea, Pacheco's attorney tells News 13 no such deal has been discussed. That victim tells us he's now hearing the same thing after we called the DA's office. Even so, that victim's not feeling um, safe. Well, I, I've continued to not feel comfortable um, at my residence. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Other than the two pending burglary cases, Pacheco has no past criminal history.